Hi there, thanks for tuning in to the video tutorial on Jetpack workflow integration with QuickBooks Online. So what I want to do is I want to spend a couple minutes just walking you through some of the core elements that you'll find inside of Jetpack workflow and the integration with QuickBooks. As always, if you want to see the latest version of Jetpack workflow, you can always go take a look at jetpackworkflow.com or if you want to start a free trial, you can go to jetpackworkflow.com slash free trial. Having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the integration. So I'm going to hover over here into settings. I'm going to click the sub tab called integrations. You're going to see we're already connected. Now for those that are just getting started, there's going to be a connect button here in which you enter your QuickBooks online information. And as soon as you do so, we're going to start mapping out the employees and the team members and the clients inside of your account to Jetpack Workflow Online. So let's take a look at how that works. So I'm going to go into manage. And what happens is as soon as it syncs up, you're going to notice it's loading QuickBooks Online data right now. It's going to pull over all the clients. Now, you have the option to sync them up to existing clients in Jetpack Workflow, or if there are already some inside, they will automatically try to map them by email and name here as well. Now, you can have a similar process set up for the team members as well. So if we come over to here and click Team, you also notice a Refresh QBO uh, Team or Employees button right here. Now, all this will be done automatically as soon as you connect to QuickBooks Online. So the first uh, connect and mapping is done automatically. You'll notice we now have all the clients inside of our system. We've tagged them as businesses or individuals. We've also brought over the previous uh, service items that they've been billed for. Now the great thing about this is when you create a workflow template inside a Jetpack workflow, you can then apply that template to every client that has a specific tag. And so if you're running an accounting firm, for example, you can come into here and say, uh, let's apply the 1040 template to all of my individual clients or let's apply the monthly recurring bookkeeping template to all of the business bookkeeping clients automatically. So uh, on one hand, you're going to be able to import and map out all your team members and all your clients. So you're going to have a central client or customer database in which all that information is going to be stored. And then the second half of the integration is now when I open up the jobs tab, which is really the main place to work, you have a couple options where you can start tracking time. I can open it up, I can start the timer, or I can come into here and add the time log. So two hours, we had a client meeting, it was billable, and we're going to go ahead and enter that log. And we'll go ahead, we can collapse that. Now, if you wanted to log that against a specific task, now let's say you're on the process phase, I can come into here and, and either start the timer or open it up and start the time log. You also notice that inside Jetpack Workflow, you can set up task dependencies, you can track budget at time, you can track team capacity, all in a single view. This is also the page where you can create a customized report to view any type of work that you want to. So if you want to see everything uh, for a specific category of work, okay, we'll go with the example bookkeeping, organized by due date and only see ones that are in progress, you can come over to here and filter, sort, and search anything in this view. You can create task dependencies throughout the system. You can create recurring items against clients without having things fall through the cracks. Again, if you're interested in that, you can go to jetpackworkflow.com to start a free trial. But having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at how time is exported into QuickBooks Online. So you'll notice if I go back into integrations over here, we can go ahead and sync time now manually, or we can set up an auto sync every day or every week if you want. As soon as you push that time into QuickBooks, here's how it's going to appear. So let's go ahead and open up a weekly timesheet. I'm going to go ahead and drop down. Let's pull open this team member right here, and we're going to go ahead and pull up the week. You'll see that timesheet information is automatically pulled over. You'll also see whether or not it was billed. You're going to see the client, any kind of service item it was mapped to. So inside of any job inside of Jetpack Workflow, you can map a service item. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So when you're setting up that initial job, you have the ability to map that to a QuickBooks item. So you're going to see that over here. And again, you can track whether it's billable, non-billable, how many hours in the day. Now, this is just from the timesheet perspective, but you're also going to get billable time pushed into QuickBooks Online. So if we open something like Bill's uh, windsurf shop right here and we go ahead and create a new invoice, you're going to see time entries appear over here uh, for, to Bill bill. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at maybe the one for Amy here as well. Let's see if we have any unbilled activity. That's what we needed to pull up in the first place. So looks like we have a couple unbilled activities for Amy's bird sanctuary. So that is the recommended place we 
say to bring up when you're ready to invoice and you're going to see that time then dropped over here now this is pulled in from jetpack workflow somebody marked this as billable time we can go in to add this into the system now if you need to add uh, additional descriptions change the quantity rate a line item you have all the flexibility you want to come into here and update that invoice so again when you push that billable information in here let's go into on build activity let's just go one one more example into cool cars and so if we create a new invoice for this customer right here again you're going to see all types of billable information come over here we can go ahead and start adding that into here now you'll notice we pull in the job name the task and the notes if we need to update that if we just want to put it was for monthly bookkeeping or in the system we have an onboarding template we can just go into here and update that if we don't want this item or if we want to combine it with this one we can certainly do so as well so the point is is that when you track time inside a jetpack workflow you do have the opportunity to push that into quickbooks online and then as you continue to work you'll be able to have a central place to track all of your clients and contacts in a single location so if you want to see the latest version of jetpack workflow if you want to start a two-week free trial and that's a full trial with all the features available you can go to jetpackworkflow.com or to start immediately you can go to jetpackworkflow.com slash free trial thank you for watching